Hey guys, Brady here, and I just saw Game Night. Game Night stars Reggie McAdams, J Jason Bateman, and Kyle Chandler. Um, it's about these, about this couple played by Jason Bateman and uh, Reggie McAdams. They like the, uh, they're very good at like trivia and stuff like that and trades. And so like, I guess like every weekend they host like a like a game night and they invite like a group of their friends to come over. And, um, so yeah, one night, um, what's his face, uh, Jason Bateman's brother, played by Kyle Chandler, uh, comes over and is like, oh, I, I, um, they have a game night together, and they're like, alright, next weekend, he's like, next weekend you guys are gonna come over to my house, I got the, I've got this really great idea, uh, idea for a game night, um, it involves actors, but you're not gonna be able to tell, uh, if, anything is fake or real and the yeah uh, this movie was wasn't as good as I, I as I wanted it to be I thought this movie would be like hilarious from like start to finish it's really funny hey, don't get me wrong but it just wasn't as funny as I thought it would be um I was six but I didn't like a like, laugh out loud comedy like horrible bosses horrible bosses had me like dying of laughter from like start to finish this movie is advertised from the people that brought you Hober bosses and it's funny it's really funny but i wouldn't say it's as funny as like other i think movies like her bosses ted um in the episode of family guys is a little bit funnier than this movie um interesting premise though i i don't think i've ever seen a movie uh where it just revolves around game night and i just i don't know it was just a really cool premise for a movie let's make a movie about a, about a group of play, people playing games for the evening and it was really cool um yeah and there's some subplots in here um one of them is uh this guy named ryan every single time there's a game night he always has another girl with him and uh the main one is this british girl i don't know her name and um yeah, she's a lot smarter than he is, and he, um, is just really stupid character. Um, I didn't like their storyline as much as others. I thought the storyline between, um, his other friends, I forgot his name, I forgot their names. But yeah, they were great. Um, a lot of twists in this movie, especially towards the end. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Jesse Plemons is in this movie. Uh, he's been appearing a lot lately. Good for him. Just count Matt Damon is making a name for himself. And, um, yeah, he, he was also really good in this movie. Um, everybody was good in this movie. It's just, I was hoping the movie would be a lot funnier than it was. It was funny, but it just wasn't, like, really, really... I feel like it could, they could have added a lot more jokes to this movie. Um, there's a lot of movie references, so if you're if you if you love movies and you love movies that reference other movies, this movie has a ton of movie references. So it has that going for it. Whenever they say a movie reference, it is it is a really hilarious, really good movie reference. Um, but yeah. I'm going to give Game Night three and a half out of five stars. Um, it's definitely worth seeing, but don't expect like a laugh out loud comedy. Ex expect like a comedy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of anything. But here's the thing. I like New Line and Warner Bros. They have been producing a lot of really funny comedies lately. We're the Millers. This, well, not really funny, but this is this is funny. Wooden Miller's this uh, vacation. I know it was terrible. It got ter was got terrible reviews, but I enjoyed vacation. Um, Horrible bosses one and two. Hall Pass. I mean, they've just been releasing a lot of great comedies lately. Um, yeah, interpret it any the way you want. So.